Welcome back, Yuri. We got video number two here, Regents Review Time. So, some concepts. Don't forget, you should take a screenshot, screenshot, add it to your folder. So a couple different things, latitude and longitude. They like to bring up that latitude measures north to south, to south, but the lines run east to west. Maximum latitudes are 90 degrees at the South Pole or the North Pole. They never touch. Longitude. They measure east-west, but the lines run north-south, and it's a maximum of 180 degrees. That's at the international date line, and then it runs through Greenwich, England, at zero degrees. And you got to remember, if one hour I wait, hour I wait, 15 degrees, the Earth will rotate. So that's the speed that the Earth rotates. There's going to be another video that compares rotation to revolution. Rotation is 15 degrees per hour. That's what the time zones are based off of. Time zones are 15 degrees of longitude each hour. So 15 times 24 equals 360 degrees. That's the Earth spinning all the way around. If I have a fancy animation, you'll be able to see that maybe right over in this area. Or maybe I'm pointing to nothing. So you're through two videos. That should have been one day of review. Remember, I'll say this for only the first few videos. Your goal is at least two videos per day, seven days a week between now and the final exam. And if you do that, you'll really have a good chance of passing this test. You'll be able to get through the videos more than once, hopefully three times, and they'll sink right into that brain. Good luck. Thanks, Yuri. We're on our way to some fun times at the final exam. This is a short answer question that is asking, explain in the terms of the Earth's rotation, why are the time zones 15 degrees apart? We will do one to two questions at the end of each video for you to practice.